What's up guys, Fury TV here, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily basis. Mr. Ivy got the aces. Limps in. Sam checks back king at clubs. Rut row. This could be a big one, Jeff. We got top set against the nut flush draw on a pair. Action. Top set Ivy. No big deal. What a what a board though. I mean, I guess for Greenwood, you know, it's a little unlucky. He's got that pair flush draw. He's got to think, you know, against the set. This is like the worst hand he could be against. Even like ace ace queen is eight would be live. But right. and it were you know Ace Jack he's got the whole shalada but here he's really just drawn to that flush and for Ivy a bit unlucky oh well that wow. actually now that is uh that's a sight you'd love to see if you're a Phil Ivy fan quads for Ivy Greenwood still with that not flush draw remember in this game flush beats a house so we can see Greenwood zero percent but he's gonna think he's still doing. Okay, in this Gotta one. love it. Slip some rope, you know, in case some. I mean, just pretty special stuff here. This is, uh, I mean, if a flush runs out, if a club were to come. Oh, oh, my goodness gracious. Come on. Wow. We have quads versus nut flush in short deck. Wow. This is, honestly, this is, I mean, is there any chance it this doesn't. This goes in, it's right? In. It's, it's going in. How could it not go in? If Ivy bets, Sam's going to raise. Ivy's going to jam. This is insane. And Sam is thinking about Vegas and the Mirage. And this is this is the one that you just, you don't get there. You're on your way and you don't get to the in the door somehow. This is, I mean, there's just no other, I mean, there's, there's just none. There's hand combination one, right? All the other, all the other ones are houses. Right. But, but at the same time. Yeah, I guess you might think Phil could have a lower flush, but a full. Right. He, you know that a flush, a full house doesn't beat. But, a, he's, but you're, you're going to raise up here, and you get, you're going to get. You get raised, and you think maybe Phil has like the sick, queen hive or whatever, and not a flush. Yeah. I mean, he's not going to like it when he gets jammed on. He's probably. I don't but even think he thinks flush. long. I, wow. Obviously, you lose the ten nine <laughs> of clubs, and you lose the aces. Those are the two hands you can lose to here. And if you're Phil, you lose. Uh, Same for Phil. Oh, he loses, loses to the ten nine of clubs and the king ten of clubs. I mean, no, ki uh, king ten of clubs, right? That's it. Sorry, yeah, king ten of clubs. Only. So there's one, one hand you lose if you're Phil, and there's uh, two if you're Sam. Yeah. So it's <laughs> the biggest cooler you'll see, really. Smaller. Sam's gonna feel sick, but he can't fold. Quads. Wow. Have some of that. Wow. What a hand. I mean, this is a sick hit. Three-handed, one versus two stack in the biggest cooler you're going to see that, that was possible. Whoa. Now, this is extremely, like, this is, like, Below the bottom of Feraldo's range, <laughs> <laughs> from the undergun spot, like five, six footed, he just couldn't let it go. Sometimes you're playing like poker, you're drinking wine, you yeah. just look down at a pretty hand. I don't know, I'm sort of like six, seven suited, maybe even close here. Seven, eight suited, I think it is. Zeno with King Jack in the same suit from the cutoff. He's gonna call. I'm not saying like I don't do with Feraldo just done. <laughs> I'm saying like if I'm in this spot under the gun and it's live poker and having a wee drink of red wine. Then you're gonna be playing. I think I'll be playing the five six of clubs. Yeah. But I'm saying like um one by one. A lot of players wouldn't be. Gerald with pocket nines in the small blind. Yeah, this is the kind of hand he's on a small blind. He's, he doesn't want to go three Why ways, possibly four ways to the flop, playing out of trap one. In I every believe street. You, a low percentage of the time. So I'm going to guess he's going to take the aggressive option. I like to talk in absolutes. And either call squeeze, call it off, or maybe even just be Absolute. happy with the pot and jam all in. Right, okay. Picking up, like, close to 20%. Oh, he's went for flat. the flat call. He's gone for the flat. Fair enough. 
I, I'm saying like I wouldn't mind. Is part is part of that predicated by Zeno's stack size flatting free? Is he worried that maybe Zeno's laying a trap? I'm saying like fair enough. Zeno could be laying a trap here, but I don't think it happens that often. Okay. So I think you're only concerned about getting in against Feraldo and getting unlucky of him having a better hand. Well, Mark does. I would elect to squeeze and not go four ways here because when he does peel the nines, it always goes four ways, and he's yeah. playing out of position one. Ah. He's Mark. first to act in every, every street. Mark did get in for the cheap with 4-7. Look at this flop then. So Gerald has his and over pair. Yeah. Feraldo top two and Mark with bottom pair in the open is straight draw. And Anthony had a very good hand and he flopped. Have zilch. a look at this. It's going to check through. This is insane. How was Lou? How was... Well, Feraldo has to check this flop with his range. I'm saying like, because he can't just bet it for the sake of it when he has it. Well, four on the turn gives Mark the Whoa, lead. Whoa, this has all changed now because now Gerald, Gerald's going to think he's got the best hand. Gerald's thinking, okay, that four could be a good hand, but good card. Limit. Mark is in there, way out in front now. You didn't even have like Jack does the hearts. It's going to go. Bet from Gerald, flat call from Mark, and Fraudo <laughs> might be able to fold. <laughs> he might be able to find a hero fold here. They're one hand away from finding out which other had in that big pot. The club and a red one. Because what can Mark Ashley else do here apart from like yeah. flat call? I mean, like, nice so, like, off. I think Feraldo can find the fold here. Ball. He's going to be hating life. I would never I'm hoping you didn't have ace jack. Of clubs. Like I mean, that would be ridiculous. Really. Six seven off suit. Six x of hearts. I don't even he blocks that. one of the sixes. Mark can have all the fours. He's definitely taking the price. What did you have? Gerald can have pocket eights, pocket nines. Right. This is a you nasty know. spot. This is a spot that doesn't come up that often. Like, this is a hard one to actually figure out what to do, what is correct. This is why Feraldo's going to be here for a, you know, a while. <laughs> well, he's moved to his chips now. And say, of course, cool. obviously, he still has to out to a now. house. But the oh. problem is, here he doesn't want to see a deuce, a three, a seven, right. an eight, or an over card because yeah, if it comes to jack of spades, somebody could have jack, queen of hearts, and he's counterfeited. Well, I'm saying there's like, so many cards. River. He needs a five or a six, obviously. Wow. Whoa, Mark then hits runner, runner, quads. Gerald's going to think his hands are near lock. Well, this is a snap, like slam dunk, probably actually. Gerald has to check call for Aldo because he still has bigger over pairs right. that he checks the flop with. Okay. But um, it, it might just go check. And does Actually, I, I think it might go check, check, check. I was going to say, does Mark have the most interesting spot here, whether to bet this or not? No, I think range wise, I'm saying like balance wise, I don't think you can bet it. Because what's he betting with? Well, that's, that's what I mean, Mark. I think it's the most interesting spot. He, and again, he can expect for Aldo to jam. When checked to with well, those Every, overpairs, right? everyone's got to assume a lot of Feraldo's range here is flush draws and overpairs, right. but more likely overpairs. Well, look at this. Gerald. So maybe Gerald's going to put a wee block a bit, or else he's going to think he's going for a good value it. here. Uh, I would acknowledge it. And then Mark, of course, will just call here with these quads, try and get Feraldo in. I don't know about that. I'm saying like maybe it is the best play and the fact that he's not absolutely last to act, it's not like he's... Obviously if you're last to act and you call, you get punished. <laughs> Does he... M which he shoves up. Does move all in. Uh, and this is an easy fold for Gerald. Unless he absolutely levels himself, but it's an easy fold. Four or five of spades is there. Four or seven of spades, four or eight of spades, three or four of spades. And then you've got the queen, four of spades, king, four of spades. Right. All the all the four of spades is there. Well, let's put a lot of chips into this pot. Actually makes it easier for him to fold when he bets so much. Right. It's just a suicide bluff if it's a bluff mark and it's just... I don't like it. I d I'm not a big fan of the sizing, to be honest. The fourth out here on the river, I would have went for like 275 or something. It does the same thing. Right. Stop stuff getting and I, and I actually think it was too thin a value bet for that size. Well, 
And I think for, for Aldo and I think here. for Aldo could have folded to Tom. I think he could have. Aren't Miss Rocky. <laughs> What a showing by them at the Party Poker Live Millions UK main. We got to watch Roberto Romanella yesterday. His unorthodox style. Ran two ridiculous bluffs successfully. <laughs> Feels like destiny, doesn't it? Just might be. Jacks for Sam. Makes it 325k. Hussein Ensan in the cutoff with the A7 of hearts. Make the call. I'm not sure I care for this call by Ensign with a seven suited. <coughs> I know it's Grafton, and he opens a lot wider than most. Seems to be very active, but this sort of hand I would prefer to simply just three bet. Mm -hmm. And for the times you get four bet or just called, you can. Played a lot easier. Ace in the window. It comes A7-7. Seven, seven. How about that? I told you I love this call <laughs> with A7 suited by the main event champion. Uh, he just knows flop, he's going to flop yeah. full house. Intuition. Huh? Just knows he's going <laughs> to outflop the two jacks. Makes it look so easy. Grafton leads for 300k. Let's watch the master, huh? Look at this. Little eye contact, little smirk. Makes the call. <laughs> Another yeah, ace on the turn. And now. This is ridiculous because it's going to be hard for Grafton to think, all right, what what aces would Hossein call me with pre that he's not three betting? Would he really call with ace X suited? Uh, the answer is uh, maybe yes some of the time. Hossein's sort of an old school player, goes with his gut. Check, check on the turn. Oh, yeah, just quads on the river for the World Series of Poker main event champion. What in the world? This is why you call with ace seven suited, Pre. <laughs> Look at this board. Ace is full of jacks Grafton for has Grafton. It's quads for Hossein Ensign. Absolutely no reason to believe that his hand isn't best. He's going to try and get value from worse full houses. Yeah, we thought a pretty good flop for Hossein. Seven's full, then he turned to aces full, then he rivered quads. Look at this, the overbet, two million. We know Hossein is simply going to put it in and Crafton is going to have to shrug it. Say so what in the world? How many people are going to make quads on me today? The shove is for a bit over 3.4 million. Every ace in the deck, outside. nearly every seven in the deck. You, you have to come with them. You have to call. How much? <laughs> so 1.4 million. So 1.4 million. Yeah. So 1.4 Rough start for Sam Grafton. He's run into some hands. Such a sick off. To begin day three. Does use a time extension. I'm so happy when that is going uh, There's just <laughs> no bluffs here. Uh, I you heard Grafton, no he was equity. thrilled when yeah. that ace popped oh, up to your sure. point. In his the mind, he was, he was value betting against worse full the houses. The only thing is you're such an animal, you might actually bluff here. Like, you might think it's a chop. You can see after 30 minutes how <laughs> forward. He's way great. too happy. <laughs> great. How bad do I run? That, that was the time I got it. Another one. Oh, okay. 
another time bank used. Does toss it into the muck. Boss, just, just, I can't look. I can't look. You can look. All I can, I say, look. I all I can say is I didn't see the hand. Only move. for you. I heard a big tip. Dimitri with ace king raises it up. Sergio has yet to enter a pot today. And that trend will continue here. Came into the day with 41,000. He has blinded himself down, folded himself down to 26 million, and he has also printed money in doing mm -hmm. such, Jeff. At least a $50,000 jump for him so far. I believe he's the only player that hasn't played a pot. For sure. Everyone else yeah. has been involved. Sergio has yet to play a hand. That is, that's hard to do. Uh-oh. Daniel with nines. And with a call from Fabian in the small blind, I think Daniel's probably going to squeeze here. We may see the biggest coin flip of the final table right now. I don't think he flats. If he does, I'll, I'd be shocked. Nines is probably at the bottom for having to three bet and commit. All in. All in. There it is. It's all of it. My goodness. Oh, my. Here we go. You can see one king dead for Urbanovic. We can assume he's going to go with ace king here. Sorry. I didn't try it. I just felt like he <laughs> stopped the clock and then restarting. Dimitri go from short stack to chip leader, at least close to it, in less than two hours. Could Daniel go from chip leader to short stack in the same amount of time? Find out in just minutes. Does make the call. And what a flip we have here. Dimitri with Ace King. He is the one all in and at risk. We're just flipping for hundreds of thousands of dollars in equity right here, Jeff. Here we go. With I'm nines. nervous. Certainly a nerve wracking moment for everybody involved. Nine in the window. Oh quad. my Quad goodness. for Daniel Rezai. Quad <laughs> nines on the flop. That'll turn things around. Good game, man. And Dmitry Urbanovich, the party poker team pro, on the verge of a nine, magical nine. spin up. My nine, German virgins. <laughs> but is a little steady. Still looks better than any one of the rest. Yeah. Slow down a little bit though. Yeah. Can't bluff every pop. It's not like he has been playing an insane amount of hands. The hands he has played, he just plays really, really well. Yeah. It's usually I the mean, best way to do it. Well, it is obviously here. worth noting that Jason has very few hands he could have caught there. But that, that's the nut card to have. Well, look at this flop. This looks like it could be trouble for Bryn. He has flopped an open-ended straight draw. Jake, a set. 10-5-6 rainbow board. Yeah, this is... I can see this going in. <laughs> yeah, well, Bryn has bet. Jake with a couple of options here, right? Check call or, or check raise. He has got both options, but middle set is like the most fun hand to race with. There's a handful of chips going in. Uh, is a raise. Question for Bryn now. Well, quite a big raise as well. Up to 1.2 million. Yep. What does Bryn do now? He has two options. 
Is it a bit annoying? I was saying 7 8, you do block perhaps some of the hands, Jake. Would check for sure. well, he has gone all in, and That's Jake, I'm sure, will snap. And so it is Bryn at risk here of finishing in fifth place. He has 7 8 against the set of Jake. We'll need a 4 or 9, and of course, also avoid the board pairing. Well, the turn is the ace of clubs. Well, at least he's drawing live going through it. Four or nine, or Bryn will be the next man out. And well, <laughs> the second time today we've seen quads My man, Gigi. to eliminate a player. And it is Bryn Kenny who leaves in fifth place, collecting 340,000 euros for his efforts. A bit of a.